Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Ukulele on the PC. Last time, we explored more of Galleon Galaxy here. We got our transformation, which turned out to be a boat with a good amount of weaponry on there. And we used that uh, weaponry to destroy a whole bunch of boulders to get a pagey over here, destroy a boulder over there, and got some pages over there, got the power extender, so we're doing pretty good. Now we're going to collect these quills over here by where we destroyed stuff with the boat, even though we didn't destroy anything up here. We just are nearby. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and look at the little section of islands back over there by the start of the world just to see if anything uh, useful shows up there. We could have used that one um, tonic that lets us grab quills with our tongue, but I don't think that's really necessary. I mean, they're not really, they're not usually too far off the beaten path where that seems like it would actually be necessary. I mean, it, it might be useful for a couple little spots, but I don't think it's anything uh, terribly useful. Now, being able to fly out of water here, that would be. Okay, we can't go underwater here, by the way. So even if we wanted to use our bubble move, we couldn't. And yeah, we can't use our invincibility move as well. Oh, right here. Ah, one more. Ah, dang it. Okay. Yeah, we took some damage there. We'll live. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get into a boss fight, like, right here, and then we'll die right away. But I'm hoping we don't, because that kind of suck. Okay, there we go. Got more of you. I think that's most of them, actually. Yeah, there wasn't anywhere near as much uh, quills over here as I thought. What is our total at the moment over here? 59, 4, and one of some of those. Okay, cool. That's working out pretty good. Now let's go ahead and not die. I think there's going to be something up on the top of this right here. I'm not sure what, but there could be anything. Or not. So yeah, I thought there might be the uh, health extender or possibly the invisible ghost rider, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, there's actually not anything over here at all. I thought there might be something, and I see something. Come here, you little bastard. I see you. I don't know where you are, but I, I know you're around here somewhere. Gotcha. Okay. I saw a faint, faint little shimmer, and I thought it might have been the the healthcare upgrade, but no, it was not. It was that guy, which is good enough for me. Uh, we already took care of you. Okay, let's make sure there's no other possible places that there could be anything hiding here, which I don't think there is. Okay, so we're done with this. Gotcha. Now, let's head back to this little section in the past over here. Or in the front of the area, I'm sorry. And we should be able to find stuff over there. I don't think there's going to be too much hanging out on top of these little uh, pipes here. Mainly because there's not a lot of the pipes to hang out on. But it never hurts to check. I'm glad we got the invisible guy out of the way because he's usually the pain in the butt to find because I don't notice his little glimmers. Now, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, I think we already did uh, some of this searching around the top parts of these right here. Yeah, so there's nothing for us to search over here. But now we can just go ahead and grapple our way to victory here. Thank you. Okay, we gotta wait for you. We could just fly our way through here, but might as well use our platforming tools that we have, and why not? If any of them turn out to be too tedious, yeah, we might just end up uh, flying our way home. But other than that, I'm not going to be too cheap about it. Okay, anything up in that thing? That looks like it's just there to irritate. Okay. Uh, so now that right there, that's something we can use the boat to destroy. Or possibly a explodey flower. But I don't think we have any explodey flowers around here for us to use. And if we do... I don't know where they are. Ah, there it is right there. Cool. Thank you. Hey, and there's this guy. Um, who just wanted to join the cause right away. Now, I know there's the red guy that we fight. The green guy. I forget what the green guy wants. We already got the guy that we fed. Um, yeah, I don't remember what the green guy wants, but I'm assuming not a whole lot. 
Okay, turns out that boulder did not actually need to be too terribly destroyed, so it worked out. I mean, it helps that it was, but it didn't actually do anything for us. Is that everything? Is Are we really done with the unupgraded version of this place? I think we're just going to have a whole shit ton of stuff to do in the upgraded version, like everything pretty much. Because, wow, there's nothing else in here. For a galaxy, this is uh, kind of sad. But, whatever. We should have more than enough uh, pages to upgrade the world. And I think we've already established that we do. Uh, that's just going to teleport me back over to where we've already been. So let's just go ahead and upgrade the world and see if we can't get cracking on the last uh, couple items here. But yeah, we're going to have a pretty fair amount of stuff to do in there. 20 more pages. Actually, like, still 21. Ghost Riders, a whole bunch of uh, quills. Yeah, we got a fair amount left to do there. Alright, 15 pages. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Unless there was something I missed in the unexpanded version, I'm not sure what else we could have uh, looked for there, but... Alright, and we got Super Size, which I'm assuming just is for unlocking all the expanded worlds here. Fine by me. You know, we haven't actually needed pages to actually progress through the lair. I mean, for the books, yeah, but it's not like in, um... Andrew Kazooie, where you had to have like a certain amount of uh, notes in order to get past the door or something. <laughs> the battlefield grows larger. Yeah, I guess. Hey, it's Judy Jessen. A new mission, huh? Okay. I don't even know what the first mission was, but hey, there's more stuff. It looks like it turned into like a theme park. Kinda. And there's another uh, boat there. I'm guessing that's what they're referring to as the Galleon. Cool. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Now, is there anything else exciting and new over here? Uh, not as much. Okay, let's go over here for a bird's eye view. Okay, so. It looks like this first little section is still more or less the boondocks. Yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're gonna put anything else up in this little meteor here. But you know, let's just check just to be on the safe side. They might uh, be dastards and put something up here. Let's just uh, swing by real fast. I feel like they're gonna put something in there, but so far they're not. And okay, you are back to being unexploded, which kind of sucks. I don't want you to explode that way. I know that we've already been over here. Even though I know we've already been over here, but still. Okay, as for you, I feel like there should be something in here, but there's not. Okay, screw it. Let's get out of here then. Hello, that is a giant red meteor there. I, I I noticed it, but I didn't actually notice it until I just noticed it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the area over here where we had the ship. Just for the fact that there's probably not going to be a whole lot to do, but I still want to check just to make sure. And then once we know that there's not a whole lot to do, we can just kind of cross it off the list, so to speak. I mean, everything has re -bolderized. But other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot else going on here. Ow. Yeah, unless there's, like, something for redestroying all those boulders, I don't think there's any reason for us to be over here. I thought they might have uh, popped a few more quills, and they did. But nothing really too major. I can take a little bit of damage getting these. Why not? You. Thank you, sir. 
And as for you, see this right here, this would have been a good example of the tonic that lets us get quills with our tongues, but yeah, it's not terribly necessary. And I can't tell, but I think there was another quill up here again. Or it was just the stars in the sky. It might have just been the stars, but it looked like it looked like there was a quill and there's quills over there. Okay. Let's try to get over there without dying there. I don't think there's quills anywhere else besides just these three little peaks here. So, let's grab this. I feel like there should be something over on this side right here, but... No, I think it's just the way the uh, rocks are jutting out. Ah, there we go. And since we're more or less right next to it... Ow! Not quite what I was going for. I say we go to that new island right there. Off to the side here. I guess if we wanted to, we could unlock the transportation, but I think if we get the transportation right here, it should unlock everywhere, right? I think. Oh, that's right, we gotta fly. Okay, but I think it's unlocked. I think trials are unlocked at the first time we were here. And there's Rex Joe, you little bastard. Okay, I'm not too terribly worried about you yet. I have heard that his uh, game in this particular world is kind of a uh, dastardly, but whatever. Oh, you guys are basically the, the bees, except... Recolored, or reskinned, or whatever. As far as I can tell, yeah, you're just the bees. Because we can't seem to damage you very well with the... Uh, our ground-based abilities, and we got some health, which I desperately need there. Yeah, uh, let's see. Fire, or bomb and ice. Okay, bomb and ice. Uh, I guess if we wanted to, we could use the bomb and ice on that stuff over like, there or there, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary right at the moment. Or we could use it on these guys. Okay, let's take the, the bombs just to have something to deal with these chumps. I'm really a little bastard. Not great aiming, but I'll take it. And I think we're more or less out already. Uh, hello. And it's a nice support lot. Okay. Uh, you know, I always love dealing with you guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, they're okay for the most part. They're, they can be a bit irritating, but... Whatever. We'll deal. Uh, I don't know if we can actually break this. It might just be... It might just be a window, and not actually, like, a breakable window for once. Yeah, I think we actually just have to find a way in there, like, right there. And that's what the explodey flowers are for. I gotcha. Thank you. He's probably gonna be upset that we managed to get our way in here, but... Whatever. Oh, she. I'm sorry. I don't want... Wait. You have a key? 80? 20? Okay, as long as we get the 80, yeah, sure, that's fine. But... Can I have the key first? No? Okay. Now, I was looking at the pause menu earlier, and usually they show stuff that's uh, vital to the world or whatever. It seems like we're going to have pretty much everybody in here. We got... We got the pigs. We got Shovel Knight. Uh, we got the little bits of the pagey. We've got... Uh, let's see... This blue guy, which looks familiar, but I can't remember why. Actually, I don't think these guys are familiar. I'm just thinking about it. Okay, uh, we got Kartos again, obviously. We got the Cloud guy again. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, see, I think that was pretty much everything. But yeah, we've got a couple guys from previous worlds that we're going to have to deal with here, I think. Whether we want to or not. Okay, let's just uh, roll up here. Grab these real fast. I don't have to deal with it. Hey, it's you again. Um, I'm actually curious. How many of you porkers are girl piggies? And how many are guy piggies? I'm not entirely sure, really. Now, that right there. That little bit of balloonery. Looks like we should be able to take it down with our Sonics. I think. 
I'll come back. I'll come back to the, the piggy over here in a minute. I just want to try to get this real fast. Okay, and I die. Great. And I'm um, way over here. You know, let's actually use the teleporty thing here. It might just take us to a random unlocked one. Yeah, okay, there's that one. I want to go to the other one, please. Oh, wait, actually, no, wait. They probably each have their own destination now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. So I just gotta figure out which one is the destination I was just at. And I just realized something. We can try to land on those balloons, and then we can use those, uh... We can use our... Uh, sonic explosion or whatever it is to um, try to break them all at once. I was hoping you would have like an extra or something. But, oh well. I was hoping you would have had an extra like oh I don't know double my health or something like that. That would have been cool. Okay, so there's that. Now, okay, there's the one that I was looking for right there that it will teleport me back over there. Um. Where'd that guy go? Do I gotta re-unfreeze that guy? No, he's right there. Okay. I'm not gonna talk to him yet, because I don't care just yet. But we will get to him eventually. I am trying to stay reasonably grounded in where I'm going here, just so I don't get uh, sidetracked too much. I mean, I'm gonna get sidetracked. This is what I do. But I'm gonna try to avoid it for as much as possible here. Uh, speaking of sidetracked... Okay, we're staying away from uh, you for a second there, Extra. We are grabbing the explodey stuff. I'm ignoring you purple dudes for a minute. I want to unlock Porky over here. No, he's already unlocked. Okay, never mind. Alright, balloons. Where you at? Okay. Oh, looks like we're doing good. Okay. Apparently they are um, resistant to explosions, but not sonics. I gotcha. Hey, that must be the uh, part of the page they were looking for. It is. Cool. Okay, one. Um, your second pagey piece. Two more. I know where the uh, first one is. I just gotta actually get around to it. But I'm not gonna deal with it just yet, because I'm trying to stay as unsidetracked as possible. Alright, Piggy, I'm going to ignore you for a second. I'll be over there momentarily. Calm yourself. Okay, got you and you. What is our current quill total here? 73, okay. We're doing reason or not, not reasonably, reasonably good on quills and not so good on some of the other stuff, but whatever. Alright, so we got that. I want to see if anything is on top of you. It's not. You're just uh, a flaming torch. But there is our play coin for Rextro. Very nice. I like how these are actually reasonably easy to find for once. Alright, now what do you want? Oh, so we're all searching for the treasure vault. So you're going to give me a much more fair split, which is awesome, but what is this guy offering? How about you give me some donuts? Seventy thirty. Okay. Um, okay, you're not poisoned. That's awesome. Yeah, that works for me. Now, I'm assuming they're going, like, 70-30 in their favor and not my favor. But for all I know, they could be really generous and they could actually be giving me, like, really good deals here. But I doubt it. Rextro, I'm going to ignore you for a moment. I'll probably uh, check your game out at the end of the episode. By the way, your, your machine looks, like, really small. Like, really small. Oh, and there's this guy right here. Okay, cool. But yeah, we'll check his uh, game out at the end of the episode. Great treasure, blah, blah, blah. What do you say, 60, 40? I, I didn't pay attention there. Okay, so 
Assuming they're talking about the big number is their split and the little number is mine, then it looks like uh, the, the chick up top is the most fair one since he's offering a 50-50 split. Okay, I'm assuming that this right here is going to be the treasure since, well, there's no place else it could really be on the island if it's specifically on this island. I mean, I could be wrong. There's always a strong possibility that I am. Now, ooh, there's a... Oh, I thought that was a well for us to get into. I think it's just a redneck tire. Or something like that. Okay, we can't actually get into it. Okay. Just wanted to check. Uh, put over here. Yeah, there is a shovel knife. Okay. And can we... We can't turn her to fire. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna kill this just to make sure that it doesn't like try to attack me later. By the way, I watched a little bit of gameplay of Shovel Knight. Um, it was on uh, Mr. Anderson LP's channel, and I thought it was uh, well something different. But it, you run around with a shovel and you attack people, and then you dig up gems and stuff. It's kind of like a Super Nintendo type style game. Yeah, I don't think I would enjoy it too much. I kind of stopped watching after about an hour of gameplay. It didn't seem very long. It seemed like maybe three to six hours if I had to guess. But I guess if some people like it, well, good for them. Alright, so I know where the key is. Um, so it looks like I know who I gotta split it with since they have the key and there's the pages that I'm looking for. They can have all the gold. I just want the the gold feathers and the gold parchment. Yo! Uh, I'm here just in time for what? Oh uh, yeah, at, at the rate we're going, we're gonna get like one pagey and one quill. Everyone else gets everything else. Yo. Oh yeah, he does search for uh, gems and stuff. His game, I guess that's what the uh, treasure is. Whenever he defeats an enemy or whatever, he gets like little ruby type things. Oh 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 oh. oh. Well, I know one of them has a key. I don't know if the other ones have keys though. Yo, oh, yo, yo. Wait, how many keys do they have? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you can see the page you're right through the bars there, guy. And I didn't know we have to yo, get these guys yo. to work together. I don't know what we're gonna I don't know what we're gonna have to promise them, but whatever. Yeah, uh, that's that's perfect. You have the the vast amounts of infinite money, and I'll take the paper. <laughs> I mean, what are you guys going to use money for anyways? I mean, you sit out there in your little broken boat and eat butterflies out of your little farming cage, and what else do you need? Yo, oh, oh. Okay, claim one of the keys by... Oh. Scoff's a lot is normally focused on channeling down. If that were to charge his belly, I'm confident he would drop his key. Oh, so we got to, like, attack him. Okay, I got you. Now, are you going to give me hints on all of them? Yo. Yo. Okay, scoffs a lot. Okay, maybe he'll tell us different ones after we get each one. Uh, scoffs a lot. He must be the one with the donuts. Like, you know, the straight up belt of donuts. AKA this guy. Now, if we talk to him, will he see sense? Yes, I have seen it. Okay. Um. Oh, we might have to actually do this right here. I got gotcha. you. Got it. It must be time for elevensies. What are you, part hobbit? Oh, you're killing me, piggy. Alright, uh, let's see. There's that. Now, feel free to tell me how to get the rest of the keys, too, because, well, I want it quick and easy. I don't, I don't want to have to go out there and attack every one of the pigs. Ah. Oh, he's going to tell us. Okay. Uh, let's see. Looks, uh, loots a lot. Has a keen eye to be sure. Okay, so we have to be invisible. I got gotcha. you. 
but we also gotta know where the key's hidden. Okay, so as long as he doesn't see us and we go over there invisible, we should be good to go. Uh, we could go find uh, Vendi and get our invisibility tonic to be, you know, more invisible for longer. But I'm not really too terribly concerned at the moment. Alright, let's go back around to the side here. I'm assuming it's this guy right here. It looks a lot here. And... No, no, stop it. Alright, invisibility. Now where is your key? I have no idea where your key is, actually. Unless we gotta come and hit this guy through like a completely different angle or something. Okay, let's uh, fly back to over there. Um, okay, Rexter, I'm not really too concerned with you at the moment. I think we might have to get the uh, Vendi Tonic to be invisible longer, just for the fact that it would actually help us out here. Yeah, let's go grab that real fast. I mean, the extra energy regeneration is nice, but also being able to be invisible long enough to actually use it is nicer. Alright, Vendi, you should be, like, right around here somewhere, right? Okay. Uh, actually, you're, like, over here, now that I think about it. Yes, indeedy. Ah, ah so close. Alright, Vendi, my sweet. There you are. Alright, we want the... Is it peekaboo? Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. Yeah, it's very useful. Now go away. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. I got distracted by not being able to find the area that we gotta get to. Actually, you know what? Uh, since we kind of like teleported over here, we might be able to get over there like this. Now that I'm thinking about it. Keyword there being might. Okay, he is over there. I don't know if he's already seen us, so that's the problem. As they say, he's got that sharp eye or whatever. Okay, that's all filled up. Perfect. Now let's fly over there. Double the energy. Alright, good. Our invisibility should be... Still active, actually. Okay. Actually, no. Now it's not active anymore. Okay. Okay. I have no idea where you're hiding this thing, like, at all. Like, I was invisible as I could be. I don't know where you're putting this damn thing. Unless you're not, story looks a lot. I mean... We got, we got Porky. Like, the real Porky. I don't think any of you guys are the looks a lot. At all. Um... Okay. We're gonna get over there invisible one more time and try it out one more time here. And if I can't get it right away, uh, like, in the next, like, couple minutes here, I'll just go ahead and do Rex Drill and be done. Right, we should be invisible for a decent amount of time here now, I think. But where are you hiding this damn thing? Okay, maybe if we talk to him, he'll give us another hint. No? Oh, I didn't want to be visible again. I wanted to go check on the other little piggy over 
in the house over here. I think he might be a girl piggy, so I don't think he's going to be look a lot, that's for sure. Or maybe he is, okay. I was going for the wrong one. Alright, sorry, Nora, but we got you. I wonder if we talk to him with the key, if they're going to be like, give it back. No, no, they're, they're just clueless. I think the fat one's just going to be like, yeah, whatever. Sounds fair. Now, I'm, okay. So, since you were the sneaky one, which I guess kind of makes sense since you have the mask on, now that I think about it. Um, maybe the one of the archery, we're going to have to shoot him with uh, some of the, like, pellets or something. Yo. Okay, le leap a lot. Now we'll have to employ more finesse. Yo ho. Water followed by definitely war cry. Okay, so water and then the sonic boom. Okay, I don't know if by definitely war cry he means we have to like go grab the like bomb flower afterwards. And I'm assuming it's just water and then it's our little shrieky ability, which sounds easy enough. And I'm pretty sure Leap a Lot is the one with the little playground uh, horsey thingy. And if not, well, I'm very confused. Yeah, let's get over here, nice and quick like. Ah, uh, flying, you're so beautiful, I love it. I wonder if they're gonna put anything on top of the, uh, the, uh, what is it? Giant meteor over there. That didn't work. You said water and then a boom, right? Maybe we do have to wet her and then bomb flower her. Okay. Now, she might still be wet. I don't know. So let's go ahead and grab the uh, bomb flower and then see if that actually works. Because if she only stays wet for like a second or whatever, then we're kind of hosed because, you know... We have to... We have to find a way to get her... wet for a while here. Huh. How about you, like, follow me over here, and then I'll worry about that later. Okay, um... Hmm. A deafening boom. Like, the only booms I can think of are, you know, like, the sonic boom here, and then the the bomb flower, but I don't think either of these are actually what they're talking about. By the way, we're going a little longer than I thought, so we're probably not going to do the, uh, what is it, the, oh, there we go, okay. No, we're probably not going to do the Rextro thing just yet. Okay, you are so... I don't know what else we gotta do here with the... Wet and then... Explosion. Okay, let me check our moves real fast, because there might be something here that I'm missing. I, I don't think so. Uh, let's see, X... No. Uh... Yeah, as far as I can tell, that should be what we need to do. Maybe we gotta, like, jump when we're, like, watering her down or something, because I'm not sure what else we're missing here. Alright, we'll talk to Shovel again after we fail this next attempt, but I'm not sure what, ex what exactly we're missing here. Water and explosion. That seems like I'm doing the right thing here. I mean, we can't seem to like 
push her away, I don't think, into the water. I mean, if we could do that, that'd be a lot easier. We could just push her into that pool of water right there and go from that. But it's not really cutting it right here at the moment. Oh. Okay, leap a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yo. Rusting it with water, followed by a deafening war cry. Like, do we gotta, like, douse her in water for, like, forever or something? Yeah, okay, the war cry has to be the... Maybe it's just, maybe it's just that, the sonic, like, sonic, not the actual, like, sonic boom. Huh. Unless we just gotta, like, empty our entire supply of water on her. Oh, her water... I, I think her, uh... There we go. I was gonna say, I think her armor was getting a bit rusty, but turns out it's just flower patterns, I guess. What's the pig idea? Um, did it work? We got the general idea. I don't think it actually, like, worked, though. Okay, so we gotta try again. We gotta get her armor wetter and then more, uh, what is it? Sonic booms, I guess. Unless she, like, hit, took her key out already. Okay, I don't know what else we gotta do to get your damn key. Wait, did we already get it? I don't know. We might have. Like, we might have it and we just didn't actually, like, realize it. Let me see on the, uh, pause menu here real fast. Well, it's not sane, but we might. Okay, we're, now we're on shoots a lot. Okay, uh, let's see. Legendary trifecta, tail twirl, buddy, tail twirl, buddy slam, and the sonar explosion. Okay, gotcha. That's easy enough. Oh ho! Yeah, uh, you kind of need a tail for that part, but whatever. Oh ho! Well, that's debatable, but I'll, tell, I'll take your word for it. So this should be actually easy. Tail, buddy, explosion. Okay, that should be. Very doable, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Heck, even without thinking about it, it should be good enough. I doubt you would have figured out how to get some of these on your own, that's for sure. Okay, let's go for the... Ta -da. Okay, go away. That's going to be the tough part, is actually getting our... Uh, Buddy slam there, but okay, that worked out. Yeah, with the suction cups. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be quivering in my. Uh... Well, you're not wearing any pants, at least not until like we get like the tonic or whatever for it, I think. So we'll be quivering in our scales. The chameleons have scales. I think they do. I mean, they're reptiles. Okay. It works good enough for me. Let's just grab the pagey and be done for the moment here. It would be nice if there was just, you know, one key, but, eh, whatever. Oh -ho. Ah, let's do it. Our teamwork, yeah, I guess your information is good enough. Yay, good stuff. Alright, we got some quills, we got some pages, we got some other stuff. Let's see, one, two... Three whole quills. You, know, you couldn't have put like 12 in here or something. So we had to do a fair amount of work to get everything. I'll make sure there's nothing else hiding up here. It doesn't look like it. But, you know, for all I know, they could have put the uh, something else up here. I don't know. 
Okay, cool. So we managed to take care of the uh, Hamelots for, I'm hoping, the final time. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue exploring the newly expanded uh, Galleon galaxy here. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.